Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation. And for today's episode, we're, we're basically doing our, our normal Monday episode where we go over VIP and everything that got announced that was coming out this week. Honestly, for this week's announcement, there wasn't really too much to talk about, so today's episode's actually gonna be pretty short. Now, in terms of VIP, we're pretty much getting pretty much all the standard stuff. Unfortunately, we did not get the incredible family medal or the white mushroom medal, uh, which were VIP medals for JP. Although, uh, I am expecting the Incredibles medal to come out sometime within the next couple weeks or so, okay? I see no reason for them not to, so that's my expectation. I don't know so much about the white mushroom, although I would, as I, I would really like to have it, primarily because of the fact it's the first turtle medal within the game that provides an overwrite mechanic, but I'm really hoping that they introduce the white mushroom sometime soon. But at the very least, in terms of what we're actually getting for this week in terms of VIP, we are getting the pineapple earrings uh, with 1400 extra jewels. Uh, and this one actually provides a skill perk of plus six, okay? It's not the highest amount of skill perk we've ever seen in the game. The highest, I believe, is like eight and nine. Uh, so it's, but it is a pretty, pretty good amount, okay? Usually the average is like three. so. A six is actually pretty good. Um, I do find it kind of strange that they're giving out the pineapple earrings so light, though, from, like, the entire pineapple, like, event extravaganza thingy that they were doing, like, forever ago. But, I mean, better late than never, I guess. But in terms of the rest of VIP, it's pretty much standard. We get the magic brooms, gems, and magic mirror quests, okay? Uh, the only extra thing I want to state real quick, though, is that if you purchase VIP this week, you will actually get a free silver ticket as part of this week's VIP, and we will be receiving the ticket on Monday. So basically right before reset on, you know, Monday night, okay? Which is pretty nice. Personally, for me, I do find it, like... I, I'm a little conflicted because one, I'm glad that they're actually uh, starting to introduce tickets in other forms besides just PvP, okay? But at the same time, I don't like it that they're giving them out in just this way as kind of like, you know, monetary prizes rather than like, you know, actual rewards type of thing. Like, I would much rather get tickets as rewards for, say, like, rating, for example. Um, compared to having to dish out a ton of money for like one or two tickets like to me That's just not worth it. Speaking of tickets though the Incredibles banner uh, Notice has been updated yesterday as well mentioning that all players who managed to collect the full set of seven star Medals for all four of the Incredibles medals. So a seven star of Dash, Violet, uh, Mrs. Incredible and Mr. Incredible If you have a seven star each of them you will receive one golden ticket as a present for uh, obtaining all of them. And you will be receiving the golden ticket on the 21st of this month. To me, the silver ticket for VIP, that was okay, okay? Like, it's not a bad deal. Um, it's not, you know, what I would like, but it's not bad. This though, this, this, this is just ridiculousness. It just comes across like they're trying really hard to just bait you on this banner for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. And to me, that doesn't feel right at all whatsoever. Uh, it's already bad enough that like we have to use the medals for the high score challenge and now they're trying to just get as many people to you know pull from this as possible uh, just so they can get a gold like to me that's not worth it like I'm not going to dish out all my jewels or hundreds of dollars just to try and get one golden ticket where if you already have that much jewels in the first place or you already whale enough to get dish out that type of money in the first place chances are you're already a really strong player and wouldn't even need to go this far for this one golden ticket um especially because of the fact that this is a luxury week <laughs> and the top rankings can get easily like like four golden tickets and stuff easily okay so this to me this is just not worth it other than that though the last thing on the list is that they are bringing back some returning avatar boards uh, for this week, or you're basically a bunch of like summer swimming wear and such, okay? Uh, and to be honest, they're not very good. The, the best skills they have on them are like attack boost 2, defense boost 2, and, and a normal Lux Plus, uh, which are like severely outdated. Like these are, these are skills you got that were really good when the game first started type of thing. Because of the fact we're already at attack boost 7 now, like um, the stuff that you get in these boards are not very good at all whatsoever, and 
you would only want to get it if you really just want the accessories and that's it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend getting them at all whatsoever. But anyways, that was it for today, guys. I just wanted to go over the weekly update like I usually do. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Go ahead and let me know what you think about the uh, gold and silver tickets for this week down in the comment section down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.